I think we're all perhaps slightly confused in the pantheon that is the bloodline. Who is really in charge? Is it the tribal chief? Or is it the final boss? Mm. I mean... Yo, yo, hope you guys are having a good weekend so far, man. Um, Y'all know the deal, bro. More wrestling content. <laughs> okay, I got to react to this uh, Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes uh, face-off they had uh, yesterday on SmackDown. By the way, I know people was messaging. I, like, <laughs> I'm getting people message me now about this junk on Instagram. Like, yo, you got to react to this. <laughs> like... The rest of the community is it's kind of cool, bro. It's kind it's cool but toxic at like the same time. But ain't that like most communities? <laughs> like every community got you know the good side to it, the bad side to it. But I heard that uh, Cody actually, you know, he fired back at the Rock and had uh, some stuff to say, and it was pretty good from what I heard. The last time I reacted to uh, something that just Cody did. It was him and Seth Rollins, and like that's when they had that whole diarrhea Dwayne promo, and I'm like, yeah, I think I'll just react. <laughs> I think I'll just be reacting to like stuff that involves the Rock and Roman because that joke was kind of lame. But I heard this one is good, so I'm gonna react to this one briefly and then get into the whole thing with Roman and Cody Rose this past Friday. There are complications. Factors, elements, combustible elements, namely the rock. Him. Rock took to Instagram last week. He then followed up with an extremely entertaining rock concert. Too bad he didn't want to be here tonight. Pause right here, and I'm and, and and I'm not gonna be like pausing a lot on this stuff because we got to get to the, the thing that I actually care about. Um, but I have been hearing, <coughs> I have been hearing, apparently some wrestlers are kind of um, what's the word? I don't know if I want to use hating on the Rock, but a lot of uh, a lot of wrestlers are not happy that The Rock is like, I guess, getting like, you know, different treatment from them. Like he's able to curse in his promos and stuff like that and say more like, you know, non PG stuff and they're not allowed to like say s such things. If that's true, that is wrong. Like I, I, and I had said this like last week, like if they're gonna allow The Rock to, you know, kind of be himself and like, you know, say certain words and like, other wrestlers are not to say it's good that you should allow all wrestlers to do that because it makes the overall product that much better like allow these wrestlers to be themselves and stop giving them freaking pg freaking middle school scripts like diarrhea Dwayne. like what the, like i swear if seth actually came up with that himself <laughs> i really don't know what what to say however there's a flip side to this. A lot of these wrestlers are not The Rock. And like, let's, hey, say what you want. He's put the time in. He's proven to be a god on the mic. Like, that's the world we live in. Like, image is everything. And at the end of the day, a, a lot of these wrestlers today are just not The Rock. So when The Rock steps back into wrestling, even, uh, uh, even though he had, like, you know, he doesn't do this no more full a time, he's still The Rock. And that's just the world we live in. It's unfair, but this happens in all aspects of life. Like, if you are already a proven, you know, person, or you get in certain things, you know, quicker than, you know, just a normal 
average Joe. If you know you got more of fame and status, you know, you get this before, you know, just like average person. So I get both sides, but at the end of the day, stop just stop complaining and do your job. <laughs> let's let's keep watching. Rock, I don't think you're a heel. I think you're an asshole. Jeez. You're a lot of things. You're a lot of wonderful things. You are the Brahma Bull. You are the great one. Hell, I got a pair of tennis shoes with your logo on it, Rock. You are the only guy that I will ever stand across from in the ring that I can honestly say is a Mount Rushmore wrestler. But Rock, you are also a terrible salesman, a carny succubus, and for those who don't know what that means, you're a whiny bitch. <laughs> I know you've been convinced otherwise, but please don't oh, no, he did it. seconds, Rock, that this locker room needs you more than you need it. That's a rule of the business. Nobody is bigger than it. Another one. I brought up my mom in an interview, so it's fair game for you to do so. Okay. I know your mom. <laughs> Not Mama Johnson. Here's what I'll tell you about Rock's mom. She is a wonderful lady. Salt of the earth. One time she helped me chop Kevin Owens in a dark match. I have nothing but respect for your mom, a respect that you should echo back towards my own. Here's the thing. You were talking about whipping me a bloody weight belt, handing it to my mother and normally somebody as powerful as you. She would tremble, she would cower. You don't know my mom. <laughs> I was more scared than she was. My mom ain't scared of nothing. This is the same lady who hopped off her chair at a Willie Nelson concert and beat up an undercover cop, okay? She ain't afraid of you, Rock. How can you be so sure of your own self, right? Because you keep forgetting you haven't been in the ring in years in real-time action. And April 6th, the bell is going to ring. And what happens, Rock, when the bell rings, right? Are you going to bring the great one? Are you going to be the hero that I had growing up? Are you going to have all that big Dwayne energy? Or is it just going to be LDS, Little Dick Syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, Cody. <laughs> Not the little Johnson. <laughs> okay, hey. Let me follow that. <laughs> ah, okay, I like you know show some. I I I I I think that's why at times Cody just comes off as kind of like cringe and corny to me. He has like no edge to him. And I've heard people say this before, which I think could be interesting. It might be a story you would want to maybe um, entertain if you do allow Cody to finish this story. Is people have said like, what if like, you know, if Cody does beat Roman at WrestleMania this year, that eventually he turns heel and like he has this like homelander type gimmick to where like you know out in public he tries to be like the perfect you know wrestler and like he has the perfect smile and you know he kisses the kids and stuff like that but behind the scenes like you start to see some cracks and be like yo this man is unhinged <laughs> i think because he already kind of has like that whole look you know, like, you know, the freaking hair, like the freaking perfect white smile. He's white. <laughs> you know, he has like that, like American, like whole like gimmick about him. So, you know, if Cody does win, maybe a Homelander type gimmick could actually be interesting if they, you know, go down that path. But they're booing you and I'm about to go full Homelander and rip your throat out. All right. So get to the point. <laughs> What I just say about Homeland? <laughs> hey. One's in the sky. You know what time it is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome special counsel, the wise man, Paul 
Heyman and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. 1300 days. As champ. I ain't gonna lie. You know one thing I miss about Roman Reigns is, in, bro, his intro, I mean, his entrance was goaded when they had the full squad. When it was him, Jimmy, Jay, Solo, Sami Zayn, Paul Heyman, and then Samantha Irvin was uh the announcer for him. Oh, my God, bro. She used to kill the freaking entrances for everybody, but especially Roman. This guy's voice, he ain't bad. That guy used to be lofty. With an iron fist. And in this day and age, you almost can't have a WrestleMania main event without the head of the table. The man Yo, what if you hear this music <laughs> after WrestleMania? <laughs> and he's still champion. <laughs> by the final boss oh the man, them Cody crybabies gonna be in a frenzy if Roman this man Reigns. wins. They chanting Cody. That's what I am. I'm a man of my word, and I'm here alone. No bloodline well, other than the wise man, but he's no physical threat, you see? So, I say we bring on Cody out here and join you, Milwaukee. That's right, he's gonna join you because it's time to acknowledge me. <laughs> I acknowledge you, my tribal chief. You know another thing that I've heard people uh complaining about? Oh <laughs> which I mean kinda is true, but that uh The Rock has been kinda carrying this story. <laughs> like he's outshining both Roman and Cody and like making Roman like appear as like a sideshow now. I wouldn't say all that. I mean Roman, I mean, they've had segments together. Roman made the rock acknowledge him in like the ring. Like, you know, they they've done stuff together, but I I just feel like the rock is so um electrifying and you know, just so much more like period. No matter I don't care if this stuff is 50 plus years of age. He's box office. <laughs> okay, the rock is by every time even when it was a, a, a segment just with the rock. Like, they upload the full segment, it goes viral, people are watching, it's The Rock, period. It's, it's hard, as good as both Roman and Cody Rose are. They're not The Rock, period. <laughs> like, nobody is. Like, when you bring back The Rock, he's just naturally going to be the star of the show. I don't really feel like, like they've been trying to do that. It's just very hard to have... Unless it's like Stone Cold Steve, like Steve Austin or like The Undertaker. Nobody is like as big, <laughs> you know, as The Rock, especially today. Like he's just, you know, who he is. But I am glad that they're doing this segment with just Roman and Cody and not The Rock. Because, you know, get it back to focus on what's like really the story right now, which is these two. So. <laughs> <laughs> All these robots. That's where Cody comes out. Get on your two woes. <laughs> Get on your two woes out, Cody. We got it, bro. We got it. Yo, say what you want, though. Cody has a good entrance. I feel like that promo that, that he did on Raw actually helped him with, like, the crowd. Because people was really starting to kind of slowly, like, kind of boo Cody. <laughs> At least I felt like. I kept my word. 
Yes, you did, my tribal chief. I'm here by myself. How about you, huh? Well, I'm as much a man of my word as you are, so if you came alone, I came alone. You said he would. You believed it, too. You're a fool. You're stupid to me. Hear me out. From my perspective, you're not fit for this job. You're not, you're not fit to be on top. You're not fit to be the face of this company because you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, here thinking with your heart, thinking everybody's got the best out for you. Nobody, nobody cares. You better start thinking with your head. I mean, let, let's just look at what you've done in the past month or so. You've aligned yourself with my little brother, Seth Rollins. And there's all kinds of problems with that, but let me ask you, what happened on Monday? Weren't you in a little bit of a jam? What, where was he at, huh? Where was Seth that whole time? Was he in traffic? What, was it a plane delay? What, what, was it snowing? What happened? I, because it seemed like he was just showing his true colors, you know? And then he told you, what did he say? He's going to be your shield? <laughs> you understand I was in the shield with him, right? We didn't do good guy things, but we had a bond. And over time, I thought that we were becoming family. I thought that he was becoming my brother, and what happened? He turned he on you. He stabbed me in my back. What do you think is going to happen to you? Mm. And that's why I think that you're a fool. Plain and simple. boy. Did you ask me if I remembered the shield? Because I certainly... I think we all remembered the shield. You guys were unstoppable. You guys, as a matter of fact, were undefeated. Let me ask you something. Do you remember the first team that did beat the shield? I'll give you a hint. The last name was Rhodes. <laughs> was it? And I appreciate this education, this venom-laced wisdom that you're dropping on me. I don't know if I wore them. Yeah, I did. I've got my bullet cufflinks on tonight, so I'm certainly not unfamiliar with factions, betrayal, all that good stuff while I was off doing something. I mean, but this isn't a faction you're talking about. The bloodline's not a faction. It is family above all. So can I trust Seth freaking Rollins? I didn't even think to do that. Let me ask them. Do you guys think I can trust Seth freaking Rollins? Clown. <laughs> Clown emoji. <laughs> Seth Rollins. He might hate my guts. I don't think you expected that. You might. Oh yeah, and be right. I've also heard some 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 theories that um Seth is going to be the person that betrays Cody, and that's why Roman wins. I've heard theories like that because you have to remember when Cody Rhodes first came back to WWE, who was the first person he fought. Seth Rollins and he beat Seth Rollins at WrestleMania I believe it was and then they had another match like Cody and Seth I think they were like the first two rivals when like Cody came back and like you know so like they already have like a rivalry so like people are saying because like uh Cody has gotten the better of Seth like I think once or twice now that like that still eats at Seth and that's going to be why like Seth uh betrays Cody so I mean, it's possible. Good a theory. He might hate my guts, but I know one thing. He hates you even more. 
and I'll see your situation, and I'll raise you another. Can I trust Seth Rollins? Roman, can you trust your partner at WrestleMania? <laughs> I've heard those theories Can too. You trust The Rock. I think I think we're all perhaps slightly confused in the pantheon that is the bloodline. Who is really in charge? Is it the tribal chief or is it the final boss? Mm. I mean, the final boss or the tribal chief? <laughs> the head of the table or the final boss? That's old. Didn't you just say that to him, but the other way around? Is that all you got? This is what I'm talking about here. Spoken and spun like a true politician. I mean, what we out here do? You out here running for governor? Hey, anybody got a kid that needs to be kissed? Do you want to autograph this? <laughs> Cody will pull your kid out here and make him a part of his entrance because he loves you. <laughs> That's all you do is promise this, promise that. Promise this, prom it, but you don't ever deliver. You don't ever keep these promises. You've told these people all these lies and nothing ever comes to fruition. And you wanna know why? Because you're number two. But hey, no, 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 I, I mean that with respect. You all would be lucky to be a number two, but you're not even close. This is the greatest <laughs> number two of all time. But that's all you will ever be is number two because I'm number one forever you know what I will also say a hey. <laughs> <laughs> and this is no disrespect, okay? <laughs> this is no disrespect to any of Cody or Roman. Hey. I mean, is, this, is it just me who notices that this ain't nowhere near as exciting and it doesn't feel as big without The Rock involved? Like, hey, like, like, like let's just call a spade a spade, like, I mean, this ain't a bad segment at all or nothing like that, but it doesn't have like, you know, that same like, like I gotta watch this and oh snap, ooh, 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 oh, this junk is electrifying. <laughs> like, it don't got that same like, you know, feel to it. At least, I mean, what? We we almost 16 minutes in and like, you know, I mean, they've said some stuff, but it's kind of all stuff that we've heard about before, you know, so Rock, he, uh, even though some of wrestlers are like hating that he's getting like different treatment, one thing this freaking 50 plus year old man is showing these uh, suckers is how it's done. And if this doesn't force a lot of these other wrestlers to step up they game, both in the ring and on the microphone, like, come on now. When it comes to WrestleMania, when it comes to who defeats you for this championship that you've held for all this time, I'm not number two. I'm the one. Good luck at WrestleMania. Tribal chief 
going to make his exit as number one forever. Get the bloodline going, going to come out. <laughs> this man snapped and his music came on. I know well, that's your answer. He's on solo. Oh, no. It was always a possibility. It was a trap all along. I wonder along. if he got Seth there. Cody's not a runner. And that might be his biggest fault. Just over two weeks ahead of the biggest weekend of his life. And wrestling. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait oh. that's, that's made a bit Oh, okay. Life. They got Jay there and Seth. Two can play at that oh, game. Okay. And Jay like is supposed to take Cody on uh, his brother at a WrestleMania. Okay. I didn't see Jay up in there. The tables have turned. Ex Bloodline member. Cody Rhodes standing his ground. Both superstars on a collision course for Philadelphia. WrestleMania Saturday, WrestleMania Sunday. Let's go, Philly. That was a good segment, but like I said, it lacked the energy that the past, what, two or three had when The Rock is there. Like, uh, hey, like, you just have to be honest. <laughs> like, this one did lack it was missing something like it, it, it wasn't as fun to watch. There wasn't as many like, ooh, or ah moments like it wasn't. It just didn't have like that main event like feel to it. And I kind of put it on the fault of uh, Roman and Cody. I mean, it, again, they are the main two. Like you guys are the selling point. I know Rock is like still the Rock and he's like box office and like the biggest like well, one of, if not the biggest, like like celebrity writer now. But I mean, at the end of the day, like you guys are still the the full. Well, not Roman. He's not a full time wrestler, but <laughs> but you guys are like you know the like the stars of this story. So it's on them to make it interesting, and that's one thing that people have been getting on Roman about for the past like year or so that you know he doesn't arrive to shows like too often you know you'll see roman and he'll like defend his title like once every four or five months <laughs> and then he like disappears he shows up like whenever he like wants to um so yeah man i mean it is on it is it, it's, it's up to these wrestlers to step up and make this stuff interesting because the rock ain't going to he's not going to be around for long like we all know that the rock is not going to stick like stick around for years and make this as entertaining as it has been once the rock is gone it's on the responsibility of these other wrestlers to keep these storylines entertaining and keep fans engaged and keep and, and and leave them wanting more you know how many People outside of myself, I've I've seen tune back into wrestling essentially because The Rock has been back and his promos and all the stuff that's been going on has just been fire. Like this is <laughs> you 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 cannot rely on The Rock to keep this thing interesting and going. It's on Roman and Cody to leave the fans wanting more. So you know, good a job, but. You know, yeah, it 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 wasn't as good as <laughs> the past like three weeks with the Rock, so that's what I'll say. But uh, yeah, man, what a, did a, you guys think about the uh, segment both on Raw that Cody had with with a, his promo to where he actually like you know stepped up and said some of some of stuff and tonight's segment on a SmackDown. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good weekend. To my next video, my brothers and sisters, I catch up, boys, in my next one. All right.